problem like this, we need to kind of remember a couple things. You guys remember, if I said 1 fourth times 3 halves, you multiply it across, right? That equals 3 over 8, correct? But now, let's try to remember when we said divide, if I said, what if I said 1 fourth divided by 3 halves, one way we looked at that, and kind of a simple way to remember it, was to flip it and then multiply, right? Times the reciprocal, which is 2 over 3. So when multiplying fractions, you multiply straight across, right? When dividing fractions, an easy kind of simplistic way to describe it is to multiply by the reciprocal of the fraction that you're dividing by. Okay. So rather than having division, you can reciprocate it and then multiply across. Just Means flip, flip your fraction to it's a reciprocal. OK? So in this case, you guys can see I have a pretty odd fraction, right? It's not as easy as 1 fourth and 3 eighths. We have a fraction that's looking a little bit different. So what I'm going to have to do is take this, find the reciprocal of it, and then multiply across. So by doing that, I have 18xy cubed over 7a squared b squared times 35a squared b over 12x squared y. Yes or no? You got x? OK, good. So now we can multiply across. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you can do some simplifying before if you'd like to. Or we can just multiply across and kind of see where we come, where we get. So I'm not going to simplify this yet. I'm just going to do 18 times 35 times x times y cubed times a squared times b, all divided by, let's do 12 times 7 times x squared times y times a squared times b squared. OK, so a couple reasons why I did this with there. So you guys can kind of simplify this as far as where the terms go. All right, there's a couple different ways we can simplify this. Um, but remember, a squared divided by a squared, we know is going to divide down to 1, right? b divided by b squared, well, that's just going to leave us with b to the first power in the denominator, right? Remember the division properties of exponents? Yes? b divided by b squared is going to be b to the negative first power, which means you'll have b to the first in the denominator. y cubed divided by y is going to leave you y squared in the numerator, right? Because y cubed minus y to the first is y to second. Remember, you subtract the exponents. This will leave you an x in the denominator, x to the first power. Then with your numbers, you guys can do this in many different ways. You can multiply 18 times 35 and divide it by 12 times 7. However, I rewrote this and I said, how can I maybe simplify some of these numbers? 35, 35 divided by 7 is what? Uh, Good. Can I reduce 18 divided by 12? We can both divide those by threes, right? Or by, I'm sorry, by sixes, right? So that can reduce down to three halves, right? So now I can do three times five. So my final answer, three times five is 15. The x here canceled. Y squared. Um, the a's, a's divided out and the b divided out. So I just have 15y squared. And then my denominator, Hazel, I have 2 times x to the first, b to the first. Which we don't need to write the 1s up there. Does that make sense? Anybody have any questions on that? Any questions? No questions. No preguntas. Oh, I yeah. Yes. Does it matter which way you put the uh, variables in? Like no. X, Y, and then A? Nope. Yes. How did you have X on top and X here on the bottom? And then, like, wouldn't that be X to the negative one? Right. Yes, exactly. X 
divided by x squared equals x to the 1 minus 2, which equals x to the negative first, which equals 1 over x to the first, which equals 1 over x. That's why I have the x in the denominator. Yep, exactly. Any last questions? No. OK, good.